What is up, YouTube, and welcome to the second episode of Talking Hardline. That awesome sound of the M4OA5 was obviously not in-game engine sound, but was taken from the actual sound of an M4OA5 firing. I think it adds a really cool effect and really makes a dream about sound engineering in possible future Battlefield titles. But, I'm off topic. Today, we're going to get into detail about the new Magnum rounds for the professional class snipers. Sniper rifles such as the R700 and the AWM will already have the potential to one-hit kill enemies in extreme close quarter combat, doing 100 damage within 12 meters, and this is all without the Magnum rounds. And you might be saying, well gee man, that sounds identical to Battlefield 4. But, there is a massive boost that happens when you apply the Magnum rounds to your gun. These rounds have the capacity to bring a tear to the eye of any recon, sorry, professional, taking pot shots from their own spawn point. These rounds allow for one hit upper body shots at a range of 25 meters. 25 meters! During the beginning of the hardline beta back in early February, Magnum rounds actually were one hit upper body shots at a range of 70 meters. And that did not just mean chest shots, we are talking elbow shots for kills. Frolicking around in the beta and getting one hit kill by an elbow shot was a wee bit frustrating to say the least. They were then nerfed in a mid beta patch down to their current 25 meters. So in my opinion this nerf is moving in the right direction because even if you do play an aggressive sniper role, the majority of your engagements are going to be under 25 meters so you're still going to be quite effective as an aggressive sniper. Whether the 25 meter one hit kill makes it into the final build is still a mystery, but I think Visceral has balanced the Magnum rounds well at this point with regards to infantry combat. Now, the sniper attachment takes the same slot as a stray pull bolt, canted iron sights, canted RDS, or the laser sight. So, it's a damage increase in return for a sacrifice to either reload speed or hip fire. It's a trade off that will force you to think about your attachment decisions. But honestly, I think most people will vouch to equip the higher damage attachment at the end of the day. Now the issue with Magnum Rounds that I pray Visceral irons out is the ungodly overpowered damage they do to vehicles, especially to helicopters. This is where I believe Visceral loses its otherwise great balance of the professional class. For those Battlefield veterans who love choppers that are watching the video right now, I need you to sit down grab a box of tissues and a two liter jar of ice cream because what I'm about to say is pretty tough. Magnum rounds can now do as much as 80 damage to the attack helicopter. The 338 Magnum rounds can luckily only do this much damage when they hit the inside of the cockpit of the helicopter within a range of 20 meters. However, cockpit hits will still do a minimum of 50 damage at any range meaning a skilled sniper with magnum rounds who can hit the cockpit can take out an attack helicopter as quick as they can get two shots off. Let that sink in for a minute. Two shots. If you are not as accurate or simply do not have line of sight for a cockpit shot, hitting the side of the helicopter with magnum rounds still does 20 damage at any range. So for people like myself who are terrible at math, that is five magnum rounds at any range to take out the attack chopper. I mean goddamn, Stingers in Battlefield 4 only did 35 damage per hit and they came with a warning lock signal which gave you the ability to take cover before they hit or pop flares or release your ECM. Despite the complete awesomeness that are Magnum Rounds of Battlefield Hardline, there are many sniping fans who are claiming they are still underpowered somehow and are advocating for a return to the pre-nerf full damage at 70 meters. I honestly think the people who want this are just confused. And to those people, I ask... What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's... do you want? God damn it. What do you want? 